Once you've collected responses for your quiz or your form, Microsoft Forms makes it easy to view your responses either inside Forms or even download the results to an Excel spreadsheet. Let me show you how. I'm going to launch that plant reproduction quiz that I created for my students. To view responses that have been submitted, I simply click on the Responses tab here at the top of the quiz. Now I can see that five students have responded, the average score was two, and I can see that this test is still active. As I scroll down, I'm able to see an overview or the analytics for all of the responses. For instance, for question number three, I can read the question and I can see that 80% of respondents, four out of five, answered the question correctly. I can also dig deeper and see which respondent answered incorrectly and what their choice was. I can see this for each of my multiple choice questions as I scroll down. When I get to section three, that written response question, I can see an overview of the latest responses. And as I hover over, I can actually see the complete response. Now, if I scroll back up, notice that I have a button here that says review answers. If I click on it, I can now review the answers for each individual student. Let's review this respondent's work. So, as I scroll down, I can see her responses to the questions. She's entered her name, she's entered her homeroom, and again, these were worth zero points each. Notice the multiple choice questions. I can see the questions that have been auto graded by Microsoft Forms, and I can see which questions this particular respondent got right and which questions the student got wrong. I can also see what their choice was versus what the correct answer was. As I scroll down, when I get to section three, notice that this written response requires a review. And that's because Microsoft Forms does not auto grade long answer responses. So here I can view that written response question and I can see this particular respondent's response. I can go ahead and grade this out of four. I can also provide feedback by clicking on the comment icon. Notice that I can enter feedback here for this particular student. All right, now to review the responses of our other respondents, I can click review next up here at the top. If I scroll up, I can see that I'm now on a different respondent. I can view his or her name. And if I scroll all the way down, I will see that written response question. I can go ahead and read his or her response and provide a mark. Now, if I scroll back up to the top, I can also navigate to other respondents or other students by clicking on the drop down or clicking on the forward and back arrows. Notice that I can also see the time it took them to complete this test. And if I click on the comment box, I can actually enter feedback for the overall quiz. Once I've reviewed all of the responses, I can click on the three dots or the ellipses for more options, and I can click post scores. By posting the scores, this gives all of the students who have responded to the quiz their results and feedback. They can see their scores by opening the original quiz link. So I would simply go ahead and click post and those results and feedback are now available for those students. Let's go back. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, in addition to being able to review each individual student's work and manually grade written response inside forms, I can also download results in an Excel spreadsheet. I just simply click on the 
open in Excel button here. Notice this Excel file downloads and opens in Microsoft Excel. Again, I can see the time that the test was completed as well as the start time. I can see total points. Keep in mind, name will not appear, neither will email if this link was set to anyone with the link can view. And that's why it's important to include in your test a section for students to enter their name. So I can see names, I can see homeroom, and now I can see responses and the number of points the student got. So if they got it right, they would get one point. If they got it wrong, then they got zero points. And as I scroll across, I can see those correct and incorrect answers and points. At the very end, I will see that written response. I will see the points that I manually gave each student for their response, and I will see any feedback that I have provided. Again, I can save that Excel spreadsheet to my files. Once I have saved that Excel spreadsheet and I'm ready to clear this form, I can simply click the three dots and select delete all responses.